thank you so much for joining me and Freddie. This is a collaboration with Freddie Frags. So you got Rise Frags and Freddie Frags. So doing our thing. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Uh, Freddie, shout out to you. Thank you so much for uh, you know joining me with this one and, and collaborating. I've enjoyed your reviews over the last couple of years. I always was uh, you know watching you with all the New York City boys, uh, you know, and the reviewers doing their thing at the Creed Boutique and with Al and those guys. So kind of always seen you in, in kind of the background doing your thing. And, uh, you know, you became a great reviewer. And I know you really know your stuff with, with fragrances. You have a great collection. And, and I've always admired your, you know, your reviews and your, your opinions. So, but uh, thank you so much for collaborating. Um, it's going to be a good one. So this is Zerzhov de Hala. Uh, there's so many great ones, of course, from the Zerzhov line, but this one I kind of wanted to pick. It's, it's just a, a great, great fragrance. Not really talked about too much. I know we all kind of know it, but it, it, it has been kind of on the back burner. No one really talks about it too much. So this one came out to us in 2009. Your notes, African orange flower, galbanum, bergamot orange. Middle notes are pink pepper, jasmine, rose base notes resin amber vanilla and musk so of course the notes are are very very well put together again uh, in the opening you are going to get some of that uh you know the citrus of course bergamot orange it does open up really nice and really alluring it's it's just uh but but yet it's very regal as well so it's it doesn't have a, a, a like a cheap designer kind of not saying designers are cheap but like a, that cheap designer opening it doesn't have that at all it automatically gets into this real nice uh, rich regal scent even though it's citrusy you automatically get some of that resin and amber and it really gets into the full body of it right away uh, so that's exactly kind of just what i get i mean it's a, it's a nice citrusy but really warms up and it just it's so it's it's very like sensual i think too uh, which is really nice because of that the amber the resin then there's a little bit of it's kind of like this cooling effect to your nose i'm not sure if that's like the pepper I know there's that pink pepper in there, and then of course still this, you know, that that um, that nice citrus in there, and then you also get a little bit of the the florals that come in too. So this is a perfect unisex sex fragrance. This is not too masculine, it's not too floral, it's kind of just in between. It's really on the fence. You know, men can really pull this one off. I I love it. I, I get a lot of compliments with this one actually too. I wore it today for the full day. Got a lot of good compliments. Uh, one nice thing is. It's very versatile. You know, you can wear this anytime, uh, you know, day, night. Uh, I wouldn't really, you know, the, the colder months, it'll work, of course. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, gonna gonna work great in the, in the colder, but I mean, for a fall scent, spring, summer, and it might be a little bit too much for summer too. So I think fall and, and springtime are, are a really good time to wear this one. Um, you know, it, it projects decent. It, it projects, you know, a couple hours, nice bubble. It's not gonna, you know, I mean, it's 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 pretty good. It's not gonna fill the room, I don't think, but it'll it'll project pretty well. People will notice you. Longevity. I've been getting. It does get close to the skin after about seven to eight hours, but it's still there. So even after like a twelve-hour day, I've smelled it on my skin, and I've, you know, if you start to perspire, you know, get a little, um, you know, you're moving around and you're kind of not sweating, but you're kind of moving around, you, you heat up a little bit, you will smell it, so it will come off your skin. It does get a little bit close, so after the eight hour mark, I'm not gonna say this is a 24 hour beast, because I don't get that from it. Some of you may, I'm not sure, but uh, but for being a nice citrusy, you know, uh, it's just it's just a, such a great blend. You know, you, like I said, that real nice, bright citrusy opening with that nice, warm sweetness of, of some floral resins and amber in the dry down, so. But, um, you know, I kind of did this a little bit backwards. I wanted to kind of show you a presentation now as well. The box on these are just are just done so well. It's it's not just like a just regular box. It's got this real nice, you know, material and stuff. And it's kind of like that shiny. You know, he definitely doesn't shortcut in, in the presentation of these boxes, which I just love the presentations of these. And then the silk pouch is just so neat. It's, um, you know, it's got the, the nice rope right there. Just so cool. Hopefully you guys can see that. But nice silk pouch. It's all padded and everything, which is really nice. Just very regal. You know, I love the the richness and regal of, of a of a fragrance house, and, and Zerzhov definitely has that. Of course, these bottles are bar none, one of the best in the in the business. Again, I, I just love this. This is just something out of like some Renaissance kind of thing going on. The, it's very Italian. It's very just. Uh, I just I love these bottles. Uh, the cap, of course, very heavy. You know, like everyone says, you can use this as a, as a weapon, of course. 
but um, there's the X inside there. I hope you can see this stuff. It's kind of difficult with my camera, but I just so, so detailed. I just love that about these. It has the, the plaque, the gold plaque that actually comes out of the bottle. So it's not just like a sticker or anything. Um, just very, very heavy. I'll give you a nice little spray here, but a nice spray. Um, and then of course your batch numbers, everything on the bottom. And then it has this nice X in glass that sticks out. So these bottles are, you know, this is not a cheap, cheap presentation one bit. I mean, it's very regal. They look great on the shelf. So very nice right there. Uh, for the 50 milliliter, I think they're about $260 now. And I, I believe they come in a hundred mil, but 50 usually is all you need. I usually go four sprays with this one, uh, three to four. So just boom, boom, boom. And then on the back of the neck. And that will really, um, you know, like I said, it projects really nice and, you know, just for those couple hours and it lasts a long, a long time, but just very easy to wear. I just love the scent and it's, it's a lot deeper and, and, and more rich than just a, than just a citrus scent. So love this one guys, Freddie, I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this one. We will listen to you next and, um, you know, thank you guys so much again for, for watching this video and Freddie, I really appreciate you doing this collaboration with me. Uh, many more to come, you know, and uh, thank you guys so much, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Let's see what Freddie has to say about this one. Thanks. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate um, you having me. I appreciate you for doing this, and thank you for those kind words. Um, like he said, today we're doing a collaboration review on Jojo's Diala. Um, Ryan has already told you most of the details on the scent. Um, I'm just going to give you my take on Diala. Um, let's start off by saying this is a great scent, um, very smooth, well blended, um, which is what I come to expect from off of Zirjov. Um, I would wear this almost all year long. Um, Ryan said, you know, maybe not in the summertime or he doesn't know if it could be pulled off in the wintertime. I, I tend to differ just a little bit. Um, I would wear this on a summer night out light on the trigger obviously um i think this would be nice contrast to most of the citrus stuff that's going on for those time of that time of the year i would wear this all spring all fall and for the winter time i would put this on during the day um during the day what i mean is that you know i would put it to go to work i would put it to go out to brunch you know you spray it on your clothes you wrap yourself up at least here in new york it gets cold you wrap yourself up when you wrap yourself up it kind of like lingers in your clothes and kind of bakes inside your, your you know your jacket and when you take every time you take it off boom, it'll, excuse me it'll come out now um i think this is a scent that you can wear all year round like i just said um it performs very well i get 12 to 15 and that's being that's being lenient uh 12 to 15 hours and about six to seven of that with a good uh Good performance uh, as far as like projection and sillage uh, comes. Um, basically, it's an amber-based fragrances with spices and florals. Um, you know, is this scent for everyone? No. Um, is it my favorite off of the Zerjoff line uh, from the Shooting Stars? It's not, but it is one of the top fragrances I believe uh, from the line. Um, this is masterfully blended. Um, again, you get what I just said about the, you know, you get the spices, you get the florals, you get the amber, you get some citrus. It's also very creamy. Um, I think it's blended so well that some people may have a hard time detected all, detecting all the, the notes. Um, um, like I said, this is not my top favorites but it is one of my favorites from the house um i would this is a scent that i would wear that i do wear this is a scent that i do recommend often to many people because so i think it's uh pleasing to both genders um to any gender um any walk of life i think this scent is very versatile um you know again and this is just my take um you heard ryan's take and you know we appreciate you know everyone stopping by and checking out this video. Um, you know, take a moment, thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. You know, um, both our our links will be down below depending on which channel you're watching this on. 
Um, I would like to thank Ryan again for having me on his channel. I appreciate you, brother. Anything you need, I got you. Peace. Stay blessed.